So thanks for joining us today. Um, we're excited to be trying something new and we have Kate All of Simple Thin Media here um, to talk about um, how to use Pinterest to help plan your remodel. And she has um, business experience with this, obviously running Simple Pin, but also has been doing a few projects at her own house. So that's very exciting. Um, but first of all, so for those who don't know me, I'm Kirsten Sharp. I run um, Julep Tile Company with my husband, Peter. We've been doing it for 10 years now in business. So, um, and that's been fun for sure. <laughs> but, um, and then for those who don't know um, Kate, I like to think of her as the queen of the Pinterest. Um, <laughs> she runs Simple Pin Media, as I mentioned, and I actually found her when um, I realized a lot of our traffic from, for Julep Tile Company was coming from Pinterest. I had kind of an antiquated Pinterest account that I had set up and left alone, and yet it was still bringing us traffic. So um, I realized that we should probably make more of an effort <laughs> in that department. And so I found Kate, she has an awesome podcast um, that really kind of helped me get the foundation of my account set up and really helped get me rolling. Um, and in fact, she actually interviewed me on podcasts like a year ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, I'll link that up in the blog post as well in case anybody wants to check that out. Um, and now they actually manage our Pinterest account. So I am totally hands off, which is great. And they handle everything. And really, if there are any business owners, um, it's even you know listening to the podcast or using their services, um, they're really fantastic. And one of the things I love about your company is that it's not this like um, overnight, get a trillion followers kind of thing. It's like very real and authentic and um, actionable tips for what to do. And just working with your company has been so fantastic. So really excited to have you here today. Um, and... I'm actually, this is my first time being on the interviewer side, so I wrote down Thanks. the questions. <laughs> um, so first of all, can you tell us a little bit about Simple Pin and how you got started and what all your services are? Yeah, so I started Simple Pin in 2014, and I had been doing work in the online space, primarily in Facebook, and I had been doing Pinterest too for a particular website that I was working for, but I was also actively using Pinterest, and that first account became both my personal and my business practice ground, and I started to begin to notice patterns and behaviors that were different than Facebook, and at the time, Instagram wasn't really even around. Right. People didn't even really use it, right? So yeah. you really had Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, and so it was kind of really born out of necessity. Our family was super poor at the time, coming out of the recession, and needed to start with this. And the fact that I knew the business language, and I also knew the Pinterest language, allowed me to come together to say, let me manage your Pinterest account because I know you as a business owner, it doesn't make sense to you. And you're still trying to figure out Facebook and Twitter and blogging and website design and all of that, that because I knew those pain points so well, I jumped into Simple Pin. And so that started with just organic management, which is what we do for you. And then it has blossomed from there into having the podcast, having the blog where we teach people who really want to keep it in their wheelhouse and say, I want to learn to do this right and on my own. So we teach them. And then in addition, we, some people hire us just for Pinterest images or they hire us for promoted pins, which is the paid side of Pinterest. And so as the company has grown, clients have just come to us and said, I really want this. Can you do this? And we've said, yeah. okay, let's figure it out. And so, yeah, the company now has 38 people oh who work gosh. for it. That's crazy. Know, it's crazy. <laughs> and it, it feels, um, it feels just right for me. It feels like the position that I was born to be in all along was this CEO position. And I love it. Awesome. Yeah, that's great. It's grown a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> um, so 
for those of, um, well, a lot of our people, as I mentioned, a lot of the traffic that comes to the website, a lot of the people find us through Pinterest, but for those people who don't know what Pinterest is, can you kind of tell them about it and how it's used, just kind of a basic level understanding of it? Yeah, Pinterest is like a visual Google. It's a search and discovery network. So it's where people go to search for ideas um, to either do or plan or dream into. It's often lumped in with social media, but it's not. It's, yes, I always thought that's so funny. <laughs> I know. It's really crazy. Like we put it in the category of like, think YouTube, Pinterest, Google, it's going to be in that space, whereas mm -hmm. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter are going to be in the social media space. So that's really what it is. It's a search and discovery network where you get to see images instead of text like you would with Google. Great. Okay. Um, so as I mentioned, and obviously you know a ton about Pinterest, kind of all of the nuts and bolts of it. And as I had mentioned, you recently used it for a couple projects, one of which is the She Shed. Yes. <laughs> which I think is where you are right now. It right? is. Oh, mm -hmm. that's so I have She Shed Envy. <laughs> uh, it's the best purchase ever. I know, right? To have your own little space, you know, is so mm -hmm. huge. Um, so how, when did you, when, how long have you had that? When did you do that project? It has been four years, 2016. Uh, I know I can hardly awesome. believe it. Yeah. Well, so how did you use, obviously Pinterest is changing all the time. How did you use it then to kind of help you with your project? Well, the great thing about Pinterest too, is it hasn't really changed a lot over the years to mm -hmm. where the user always interacts with images. Now their algorithm has changed uh, right, in what right. we see, but um, I just used it basically to say like, what do I want? Cause I had an existing shed and most sheds that you buy are just frames. So you really mm -hmm. have to put the personality into it. So I started pinning, I had a board called best she shed pins. So I started putting everything there. Like, okay, what do I want for the inside? Uh, you know, how do I want to add windows? Um, what do I want for the color of the walls? Knowing it is a small space. I want right. it to be bright, you know, like I do videos in here. So extra and the air conditioner, that was another thing I had to look at. Like how did people add air? Cause in the summer, if you don't have air conditioning, totally. it is a sauna. So absolutely, <laughs> you have to do that. And then what would you want for heat? And I just began and to dream into, and we like to say this too in marketing, like the pinner gathers a lot of ideas and then makes a decision three or so months later or, or at a later date, right? Like they're not in the execution mode. They're really in the dreaming and planning mode. So that right. requires, I'm going to get a bunch of different pins of she sheds and I'm going to piece them all together in my mind because I can see them. And then I'm going to take action. It's like when we had magazines a long time ago, right? And we would right. tear out, we would tear out pages and we'd be like, I want this, I want this. And then we'd have our binder and we would then go and say, okay, now I want these walls, this flooring, this look, right. and build what's unique to me. Yeah. And that's one of the things I love about Pinterest, especially because there's so, um, you know, shopping is now very much online, especially with like now, now, like during, you know, COVID-19, I mean, it's kind of yeah. all online. Um, but what I love about it is that you can kind of piece things together and see like, do they look good together? Like do the colors work? And all of that is super helpful rather than trying to imagine it all in your head and then ordering it. And then maybe it's not what you thought it was, but yeah, that's. And if you're anything like me, I'm always worried. I, I'm not a designer. <laughs> I am not, it is not in my blood. Yeah. So when I put something together, I'm always wondering, is this going to look okay? Like, are I people going to walk in and go, <laughs> oh, that's a little crazy. <laughs> so I need to see things I could not imagine. I mean, even you know, like, um, I thought of you a couple of weeks ago as we were doing our kitchen remodel, like getting tile samples and, and yes. trying to visualize and yeah, the Pinterest makes it so much easier for me. I know. I mean, it's always best, I think, to be able to get like a live sample, especially with yes. like something like tile is so it's hard, you know, we picture or we photograph everything as well as we can, but 
really seeing it in person and seeing it in your space, if possible, like what the light's like and all that is always best. But like to be able to see like, how does this pattern look installed in somebody else's kitchen? Do you like it? You know, like that's really helpful as well. Mm -hmm. So great. Um, so moving on, now you're working on a kitchen remodel. Is that right? I am. It's <laughs> going to be ripped out on Friday, oh, the, God. the old one. So we're ready. Okay. And Pinterest has been, I've used Pinterest in ways I have not used it previous. Like I used it for the she shed, right. But for the kitchen remodel, I've used it in so many new ways that I Interesting. have never used it before. Okay. So, like what? Well, one of the things was you just touched on it too, a little bit, the samples and what things look like. So, um, paint colors, I've gone onto Pinterest and searched like Benjamin Moore or deep silver cabinets, because I wanted to see what does that look like in an actual kitchen? Because right. if I can't paint all my cabinets, I want to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then looking at the scale of the room that I'm looking at, looking at the windows, you know, did this room have a lot of windows and my kitchen does not because we did a remodel a couple of years ago and added onto our house. The oh. kitchen is now in the center, ah. which makes it darker. So then looking Good. at drawer pulls tile has been a big one you know yep. um the tile color in a bright room looks much different than my dark kitchen yes. now so yes, how do yes. i have then a bright white kitchen and so the things that i've searched and what i'm really looking for have been so specific to this image mm -hmm. that i need to try to formulate in my head because i can't see it so I, I've spent hours looking at drawer <laughs> pulls, like, and even searching. And this is what I love about the search on Pinterest is you can really put in anything and see these images for me to say, okay, brass drawer pulls on white cabinets. Mm -hmm. To see what love they look that, like. By the way, black <laughs> drawer pulls on white cabinets. Yeah, yeah, and I think people just need to, and then saving everything to your board. So right. I have a kitchen board. I save everything. And then once I start to narrow down, I can delete pins off of there that no longer fit, or I can move them somewhere else. Right. Like, oh yeah, I still like this image. I'm going to save it on this image over here, but this is now my true creation board of my kitchen. Yeah. And they had something, uh, there's like a sub, sub group in yes. a board that you can do. Cause I was doing that for like final, final choices, you know? Yeah. And they have that notes feature now to where oh. you can write yourself notes too. If you hit the plus button, it uh -huh. comes up with a notes. Like it looks like in your, um, phone app that you can make notes about like, okay, I want this tile. I want this, you know, drawer nice. full, this flooring. And then you can even make comments and notes on the pin itself. That's so that awesome. even if you're working with a designer too, which I'm not, I'm doing this all on my own, but if I was, we could share this Pinterest board and I could make notes for yes. them. But I, yeah, I always pull out my phone when my contractor's around and I'm like, okay, right? I want this. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, okay, you're on Pinterest again. Like I'm screenshotting everything and sending it over. Totally. Well, and I think a lot of designers will do that. Like when they're starting with a client, they'll say like, pin a bunch of kitchens that you like, you know, and then you can kind of see like, what's the common denominator? Like, are they all white kitchens? Are they, do they all have islands? Like trying to figure out what it is that you like. Mm -hmm. But I love that notes section because like there are pins that I've pinned before where I'm like, why did I pin that? And it was like because of the drawer pulls or something, you know, like it wasn't like this is the exact thing that I want. It was just like an mm -hmm. aspect of it that I loved. Um, so I, I'll have to check that out. I didn't know about that feature. That's really great. Super handy. Yeah. Um, so how... So you're just getting started. So I guess there haven't really been any major, like you always like watch the HGTV shows and like right before the ad, they're like, you know, the plumbing leaks and like sprays everywhere. Yes. Like, have you had any, you haven't probably haven't had any major roadblocks yet or have you? No, which I'm hoping once we rip out the cabinets and everything 
thing we find that there isn't, and we're, you know, we're not really changing a whole lot of the layout and moving things oh, too much. Yeah. We're just yeah. pushing back a wall, like two feet. So there could be something there, but our house we've pretty much done everything to our house. Like we, we've also added the remodel and mm -hmm. we updated the bathroom. So this is really the final piece of oh, updating for us, no. yeah. which is going to be great. And I don't, because we've had to do a lot of the major things, like we've redid the pipes already. Oh and gosh. this kitchen, the house was built in the sixties, but the kitchen was remodeled about 15 years ago to go already. Oh, okay, so I think good. hopefully they got all the issues <laughs> figured out and yeah. we're just like smooth sailing. Who knows? <laughs> like no whammies, no whammies. <laughs> no, I know. And don't you wish it was HGTV where you could just like snap your finger and your right? kitchen would just be done. It's done in 30 minutes. <laughs> no, instead of three months. And start right? and everything. <laughs> no, it's remarkable. Everything looks perfect. Exactly. We did our kitchen in our last house was like a 1950. 50s brick ranch and I remember um it was really fun but um I remember like making toast in the bathroom and like coffee <laughs> in there too you know you don't realize mm -hmm. how much you miss a kitchen until you don't have it but um, I am mentally preparing my Self because I've heard stories like that. I'm yes. like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gear up all this stuff. <laughs> and I, and it, it, you know, going into summer, it's nice because we can eat outside. Oh, totally, and grill and all that stuff. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, yes, I need all these stories to remind me. No, I know, and time. I think because I talk to people all the time, and usually when they call me, they're kind of in the thick of it, you know, and they're tearing their hair out. And I always try to remind them, which is easier said than done that, you know, it'll be beautiful when it's done. And I think it's just like, there's so many decisions, you know, that kind of wears people out. And then when you can't like make dinner, but I don't know, I think it's just so exciting too, you know, like mm -hmm. really exciting. We've actually, so we've moved since the last house and we're living in um, a very different, we got a bigger house because we had more babies and, um, but it's very different because it's 1990s kind of suburban. Oh, yeah. <laughs> call it a 90s, yep. 1990s popsicle stand because it is like <laughs> when we moved in, it was every single color. Like the outside was green. <laughs> the living room was like sherbet colored. And the kitchen is the last thing that I haven't done yet. And it is like um, oak cabinets, navy yep. blue backsplash with like this white beaded like detail. And so when all of the COVID stuff happened, it, we were at Home Depot and I was like, I'm buying cabinet paint. Like I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> so the last three months, like I've spent, I'd get like a couple hours each weekend to work on it. So I finally finished the painting of the cabinets last weekend at least. So yeah. one day out but we're not quite ready to do it yet so for mm. now then, but anyway I just oh, I love that remodeling of any kind is so fun mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um so I guess to kind of wrap things up do you have um any advice Pinterest or otherwise for someone who is looking to start a remodel um anything you can think of that you want to add yeah I would just say um spend some time just dreaming and thinking outside the box of what you thought might, you might have wanted and be okay to pinning is not making a decision. It's just dreaming. Yes. And, and so just nice. do it. <laughs> yeah. And to know that like, um, your paint colors can always be changed. Mm -hmm. Your carpet can be swapped out later, yeah. but like really think about the lighting. The lighting was a big piece for me that like I didn't take into consideration for a long time, but, um, I want my house to, uh, to be bright and to be mm -hmm. light and to be airy. And, um, it, it was just think about those things as you go along and don't be, I guess, from a person who wants to get it right all the time, try to bust out of that. And I've had great friends who are like, you know, there's no manual to this. There's no perfect way to decorate. There's no cookie cutter. And 
I, I have actually taken my Pinterest uh, boards and you can share pins back and forth in private messages with people. Oh, and right, so right. a good friend of mine is great with decorating. So we pin back and forth um, nice. with each other's messages to say like, do you like this? Do you like this? And she's like, no, your floors are too light or this is too bright. And so I just needed some feedback of somebody who knows me and knows my personality well, because a designer doesn't know these pieces of you that can get, right. you know, can be your struggle. And she knows my struggle. Like it's, it's not about getting it right. It's just a kitchen. Yeah. Swap out and, the drawer pulls later, you know? Right. And I, I feel like if you really love something, you won't be upset with it when you put it in. You That's know? what she said too. She's like, you're going to walk into your kitchen and you're just going to be like, Oh, I know the angels will start singing. Yes, <laughs> totally. She's like, don't get too caught up in it. You'll I know. Fine. And I feel like a lot of people, cause I've done this myself, like in my own house where you get so caught up in it and afraid of making a mistake that you don't do anything. And then you just yes. start hating your house. And that's the, that's the worst, you know? I mean, it's better to just pick something. And I think too, like what you said about um, you know, paint is an easy thing to change, especially maybe not so much on cabinets, but like right. on walls. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Believe me, I know. <laughs> not as easy as it sounds, but, mm -hmm. you know, like drawer pulls or things like that. And I think um, at least as far as my kind of philosophy is when you're working on like um, more permanent finishes, like the cabinets and the backsplash tile stuff like that and flooring that really is a more permanent decision maybe go a little bit less trendy and more timeless and classic will really kind of stand the test of time and then if you decide you hate the wall color or the you know the curtain over the sink then you change it out you know mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah it doesn't have to be this huge remodel like we see on hgtv yeah. all the time it's like just change one thing I know. Yeah. Well, even one thing is exciting and will kind of make it feel fresh, you know? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think that's all of the questions on my list that I wrote out before this. <laughs> so, but Those were thank, good. I, thank you. <laughs> and thank you so much for your time today. I yeah. really appreciate it. And where can people find you and Simple Pin? They can find me at simplepinmedia.com and then I am at simplepinmedia on all channels, Pinterest and Instagram. <laughs> so you can definitely follow awesome. me there. Cool. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Yeah, you're so welcome. <laughs> okay.